The next question comes from Nigel, and Nigel says, are there any legal ramifications I need to be aware of if I choose to purchase a .com and make it my own? Background is she's looking for a .com uh, for her massage business, and she found one, and it's for sale for $300, and she's also found the business name with an LLC behind it in another state. Well, here's some of the things that come into play when doing this, Nigel. Ordinarily, if you buy a website domain from a legitimate resource like a godaddy.com or a register.com or something like that, they're going to automatically take care of making sure that when you purchase it, that it's yours and there's no claims against it. If you purchase an LLC, and it owns intellectual property, for instance, the .com or the social media handles or all those types of things, those are things to take into consideration as well. I think with what you're doing, it probably isn't going to be a big deal. And I wouldn't want to see you spend thousands and thousands of dollars talking to a trademark attorney or something like that. I just suggest to my, through my experience is to make sure that I'm buying a website from a legitimate source like GoDaddy or someone like that. If I'm buying it from an individual, then I probably would want to get my attorney involved to make sure that the proper documentation is established that I am buying that intellectual property, which includes those assets, the domain, whatever it might be. That's a little bit more complicated. As far as the LLC is concerned, um, I would not purchase an LLC. Well, I don't know. I don't know if I would purchase an LLC from somebody else just to use the DBA. You, that would be in the, that might be a question you would want to talk to Tab, who is an attorney as well. You might want to talk to him and and find out if it would be easier and less expensive and less risky for you just to create your own LLC and then create your own DBA using that website domain. It's a little bit complicated what you're asking, so there's some additional dialogue that needs to take place here. I would highly, highly encourage you to talk to Tab, who's one of our mentors. I know that he's emailed you, so just respond to him by email and have a conversation with him, okay? Keep us posted on your Flex Friday. Thanks, Nigel.